Learning new details about a double homicide in St. John the Baptist Parish. Police say two innocent bystanders, an 11 year old girl and her uncle were killed. WDSU reporter Brittany Verner live in St. John with what we're learning about how it all unfolded. Brittany. Yeah, well, Cartes Foster and Patrick Maxson are who deputies believe to be responsible for that shooting. And the sheriff says due to the serious nature of this crime, he will be asking for the death penalty. I didn't see anything, but I heard it scared me. Mm. It was very scary. Shocking words from a neighbor who heard the gunshots police say were intended for one man, but instead struck three innocent people. Surveillance video shows the moments it happened. Totally innocent and oblivious to what was transpiring on the street outside of their home. 11-year-old Samaya McLean and her uncle, 50-year-old Ron Tate, were killed while another one of their family members in the home was grazed by a bullet and deputies say the intended target got away. This all started with two suspects, Cortez Foster, age 23, and Mr. Patrick Maxson, age 26, a convicted felon. Both of them were together when they pistol whipped a female. That incident happened Friday evening outside a football game in St. John. Deputies say Foster and Maxson were beat up for pistol whipping that woman. That's when they tried to get revenge. They drove to Sugar Ridge subdivision, got out of their vehicle, firing multiple rounds at their intended target. The target was walking in front of the house where the 11 year old and 50 year old were planning the party for the three year old. In addition to three people being shot, multiple homes and cars were riddled with bullets. Sheriff Drake says due to the nature of this crime, he will be pushing for the death penalty. I think it's time to send a criminal element a message. And both Foster and Maxson are facing several charges, including two counts of first degree murder and another account of first attempted or first degree attempted murder um, and other charges as well. Live in St. John, Brittany Verner, WDSU News.